So I don't know if you guys remember, uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a little camera news video and it was in regards to the Acaso keychain camera on Indiegogo. And for most of you that probably watched this channel, you, you kind of know that I, I like the Acaso cameras and I use a bunch of them. And when I saw this one, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And I also have an Insta360 Go and I like that, especially for doing travel stuff, because I can just kind of mount it on, you just kind of tap it on, and but it has limitations, and that's, that limitation is the recording time. So it, it only has like a 60 second maximum recording time, unless you're doing uh, FPV style stuff, which gets some cooling from like an FPV drone. So when I saw this Acaso one, I was like, okay, so 4K should have, my guess, is very similar visual qualities uh, as let's say the Brave or the 7LE, like the Brave 6. So I, I kind of wanted it. So I reached I reached out to Acaso and and here it is, right? Acaso Ultra Lightweight 4K Vlog Camera. 4K 30 frames per second, 60 minute recording, EIS 2.0, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Yeah, so that's that's kind of exciting. So we're gonna crack this open. It's late tonight, as you can tell. It's a little darker back here because it's 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 nighttime now, and I'm gonna open the box for you guys. Then we're going to uh, throw this on the charger overnight, and I'm gonna go out with a friend of mine. It's like photo day. We're gonna. I'm hoping it's photo day, as long as nothing comes up. So charging overnight, and then we're gonna go out and, and do some do some walking around with it. All right, guys, coming up. Unboxing and a little little walk to see what it's like Okay, so again, here's the Acaso Indiegogo campaign now I do think uh, They also have this is a white version, but I do think now they have a black version that came out as a, a limited kind of limited purchase I got the email the other day. There it is, right? See, you get a. There's a black one now. If you're if you're into the black one, um, I actually like the white one because all my action cameras really are like black or silver. So I like the white. It kind of goes with the Insta360 Go. But I think I'm gonna like this one better because of the record time. So this is the box. Ultra lightweight keychain. We're good to go. This guy's this guy's having a heck of a time. Look how happy he is. And spin it around here. What's in the box? You got keychain, carry on, pivot mount, magnet board, easy clip, ultra, not ultra, USB cable, made in China. Yep. All right. I'm a. I'm I'm eager. So we're gonna do two videos. Well, this video, of course, and then we're gonna do a comparison video. We're gonna do a video where we actually put this keychain camera up against the Insta360 Go. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a fair comparison, but I think it's a good one because the Insta360 Go films a little differently because it films really big. It's definitely more expensive. You're looking at like $200 US, I think it is. And then you're, you're really got these limitations of record time, eight gigs internal storage. That's it, you have to dump it. And only 60 second record times. So, I think this one is definitely going to have some perks. Now, the Insta360 Go, the Insta360s, I'll, I'll say it, their stabilization because of how much data they grab, pretty impressive. But again, with the Insta360 Go, you're only getting 1080, 1080p, and maximum of like 60 second clips. So that's that can be an issue for a lot of people. All right, let's let's see what's in the box, shall we? And let gravity do its thing. Okay, dokie. Oh, look at that. There it is. Hello. You're welcome. I've been taking lessons. Yep. No. Okay, so we're going to open that. It kind of, it's weird, right? Because it's like sideways, but you kind of open it that way. But it looks like it should be that way. But I'm going to say it's that way. All right, so there it is. Can this come out? Nope. So let's take a look. We get, a, that's a nice USB-C cable. Excellent USB-C cable. We get on this side. I do like the packaging. Everything's got a nice space. So like, if you really wanted, you know, you could just keep this box handy, and you know, you have it on your your camera shelf, 
And when you're done with all this stuff, you just kind of pop it right back in here. That's okay. That's all right. So quick start guide. It's a little what's in the box camera overview uh, where you put your SD card, download the Acaso Go app. So if you have like a Brave 6 Plus or an Acaso 7 LE or any of those, same app. Um, but QR code so that you can get the manual as well. And they don't have a QR code to get the app, but it's, it's the Acaso Go app. So you just go, go get that. Go get the Go app. And a uh, little bit of instructions. Small, but what more do you need? And I look at this little guy. Just look at that. Just here in my hand. That's with a stand. You guys can see that. It's with a stand. Come on now. That's, that's like the cutest little thing. Put that back there for you, right? Boom. Oh, I love it. I really do. I love that. And that's just one of the mounts. So this is a mount that, you know, you could stick to a window or whatever. And then of course, this is completely bendable. The camera doesn't weigh much. So you could just snap that on a window and just kind of bend that how you want it. Rock and roll. Or you don't want it in here at all. So you just, you just pop it out and then you got a little, little camera so you could hold this however but it doesn't have like a tripod mount or anything like that everything kind of goes in one of these so you have all these little and it but it's magnetic so you feel ready sideways Boop. right you get that it's just good strong that's not coming out nope that's not coming out just before we go through the other, other mounts so this would be like the magnet i'm guessing uh that looks is that a button that is a button so it's a clicker button oh i think i turned it on I must have done something because lights are coming on. LEDs over that. But it also has, I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm going to have to play with it some more. So before we show you all of it, I'm going to go shoot with it again tomorrow. I'll learn more about what all the buttons do. But this is actually a little tiny ring light. Yeah, how cool is that? And I'm going to, I'm going to figure out how to turn this off. I'm just going to maybe hold that down. I don't even know if I turned it off or if I'm... It's got to be something to, oh, there she goes. Figuring it out as we go. But I like that it lights up. That's all right. And then on the bottom, we have our micro SD card and our USB-C charging. Well, I can actually take that right now because I have, I have, weirdly enough, I have USB-C cables. Plug that in. And there's a little, there's a little charging light. You guys can see that, you know. That's cool. You can charge it like that. And then we get we get a couple other ones. So this one, I'm not even sure what this one is. What is the it says it comes with? There's a there's a come with on the back of the box, is it? Yeah. Carry on camera case. Carry on. This is just oh this is just a camera carry case. So my guess would be when you're just carrying it around, you probably just fit it in there, back down, so that it protects it. You know, protects the lens. You got a little lanyard if you want to lanyard it up. Cool. Are there any other things in here? Nope. That's that's it. That's all. Don't go crazy. That comes off. And this, which is a bunch of other little magnety pieces. This is a clip. So if you had like your backpack or whatever, or even I'm like, snap it on here. It's just same thing. Simple clip. Good to go. This one here. Looks like it's a maybe a sticker. So if you wanted to stick this on something a little more permanent, right? You just kind of boom, snap that on there. So, oh yeah, that's cool too. And it's really like it really centers it. So if it's up here, for instance, like you can just see that. It, you guys see it, right? It's up here. You get it, you don't get it aligned right. It's just like snap. It comes right snap down here. Nope. That's cool. All right, guys. Uh, that's that's all the mounts. Now they probably have other packages, right? Different packages that you guys can get, um, so that you can, well, so that you can try it, try it out, right? Just different things. Like if you scroll down here, I'm pretty sure I just got this one, which is the early bird. Yeah, but see, they have all these extra ones. This one even comes with a shirt and like these magnetic things and all kinds of cool stuff. All right, enough of this. Let's go out. Well, I'm going to charge it. Like I said, overnight, it's charging, it's happening. And uh, we'll go out tomorrow and do some recording. Yep. Charge away, my friends. That's super cool.
All right, stay tuned. We're, we're heading outside. All right, guys, so we're heading outside. This is first, actually before we go to the, to the park, just so you guys can get an idea of what this microphone sounds like as well. Because at the park, I'm not gonna really use the microphone because I'm just gonna put it on a backpack because I think that's kind of the purpose of this, right? Is to just kind of mount it, let it record, and do its thing. So this is at arm's reach right now. It's got the stabilizer on. Um, you can set it to auto rotate and do all that kind of cool stuff, which I do have it set that way. And uh, it's just a really nice way to kind of hold it. It's really small, so if you don't want anything that's intrusive or anything like that, you guys can see what the vlogging is like and the mic is like. I'll actually turn it around here so you guys can get image quality and some sound recording from the back. So there's a little bit of snow in the air. Yeah, that time of year, snow in the air. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a pan and maybe just a quick, just a little bit of a walk forward so you can see what the stabilizing is like. Just like that. A little shot down the street, it's garbage day. Yep. And then a little bit more toward the sun. So you see what it's like when the sun's kind of peeking through the clouds like that. Again, we'll just do a little tiny bit of a walk so you guys can see what the stabilization is like. And there, there you have it. And then we'll spin it around. It's so small. But I like the fact that you can either hold it like this way or this way because of that auto rotate, which is kind of nice. And, you know, you can just kind of have it in your hand or pop it in your pocket. You'd almost totally forget you have it. All right, so I'm going to hop in the car, go get my camera bag, and uh, we're going we're gonna to head down to the, to the park, meet my buddy. All right, coming up. All right, guys, so as you can maybe see, maybe down there, there it is. There's, there's the little Acaso. So it is crazy windy out today, but we're going we're gonna to test it out, see what it's like. And uh, while I'm out today, I'm also going to test it, and you'll see this in a future video, because we can't put them all together. Doing it a future video, I'm gonna do some tests also with the little Insta360 Go. So this one and this one, just to see what the differences are like. Okay, it's cold out. Yep.
All right guys, so we are back in the house and I just wanted to show you that kind of one of the last clips where I had it I had it on my I had it on my baseball hat. Yeah, and I wanted to show you to you. There there it is right there attached to my baseball hat using that little clamp right there. So, nice and easy, you just kind of throw that on there and you're and you're good, you know? That's it. That's it. That's all. That's it. What more do you want? Nothing. That's because that's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. I don't even know if my hat's on. It's on straight enough. Straight enough for you fine folk because you're not judgmental. I don't think you are. You shouldn't be. Anyways, so you saw the footage. We shot it in pretty cloudy, like overcast conditions. We shot it outside, just walking up and down the street so you guys could hear it a little bit. Uh, I played around with the app. The app's pretty, pretty simple. It does what it should do. Um, control is good. It's nice. Uh, I'll let the image quality speak for itself if you guys are like, eh, it's good, or eh, I'd like better, or whatever. But before we before we delve into it, just a little bit here so you guys kind of understand how it works. Really, the only buttons are here. So it's kind of a button up, button down. Uh, there is a reset button on the bottom inside here if you need to. Little tiny dot right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's the reset. So if for some reason it locks or stops functioning, give that a good hold just to see if that helps. Um, top it up here. You hold it to turn it on. You'll feel it vibrate and then you get these little flashing, which is it kind of just being kind of like in standby mode, I think. If you tap on this, it kind of is ready. You tap on this here. This will turn the Wi-Fi on. So inside the app, it'll show you how to actually connect to the Wi-Fi. If you don't want the Wi-Fi on, don't do that because of course it's going to chew up power, right? Because it's broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal. But that's how you're going to hook up the Acaso Go app to this. So just realize once it's here, give that a tap so that this kind of turns on. Tap it again to make it go away, right? And you long hold this side to turn it off. So once it's here, you turn it off. Now, if you want to start recording, you tap on this, and you'll see it start flashing. It actually vibrates as well. So you'll feel it and then it get a flash. So if you have it up on like your hat or somewhere, you can feel that vibration that you know that it's recording. And then you tap it again, you'll see it stop, which is cool. And if you hold the on button, ready? Just hold it, you'll see there's a little light. And it's, it's something. It's not crazy, but in the dark, it would it would be useful. And you could hold it again. She goes off, right? So see that? That's kind of cool, actually. I think, right? You guys think that's cool? You should think it's cool, because it is cool. It is cool. I think so. And then again, hold it. Off. And then top one, flick. And she vibrates and turns off. It's pretty simple. The application allows you to like dump footage from here to your phone if you so choose. Or what I usually do is just take the micro SD card out of here and import it like I do with any other camera. So I love the convenience. I love the compact size. It feels well built. I love that everything is done with this button. I think that's really good. The fact that they included this little tiny ring light, I think that's awesome. So at night when it's dark, you know, you can hold it kind of here or if you're trying to shoot something down low, that's cool. Depending on the package that you get will depend on different mounts. Um, but this one's useful for sure. This one's, well, they're all useful. Uh, I'd get the one that has the, like the necklace with the magnet. That's one that I would get. Now, as I said earlier, I have an Insta360 Go, which has that, so that's not that big, I just use that one. Um, but I think it's one of those accessories that's really kind of needed for this, or it's, it's, it's a nice accessory to have. So I'd get the kit that comes with that. Other than that, I'll leave the quality and all that up to you. If you think it's good, awesome. If you don't, well, that's your choice as well. I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what's good and what's bad if you think it's worth the money. Uh, I am going to leave links to Acaso's uh, Indiegogo for this. We know that it's built and ready because we got it. So there's none of this. I wonder if it's actually going to be shippable. It's shippable. It's in my hands right here. And next week, I think possibly if I have some time, I'll make some time. 
uh, I'm gonna go and put this up against the Insta360 Go. So we'll see if this one's 4K is actually any better than the Insta360 Go, and we'll, we'll do some comparison stuff. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. And as we said, links down below to the Indiegogo campaign that's currently on for the ultra lightweight 4K vlog keychain camera from Acaso. All right, my friends, I'm out. See you tomorrow. Later.